In this 21st century, business ownership is not an option, but rather a necessity. So let me ask, are you tired of working for someone else, lining their pockets from your skills and sweat equity? Are you ready to use your drive and ability to own and operate your own personal care business? MBHS of Georgia has helped hundreds of everyday people, including nurses and healthcare professionals, retire early, turn in keys and badges, and realize a lifestyle they never envisioned. Don't just take my word for it. Allow successful entrepreneur, personal care business consultant, and registered nurse, Mr. Ernest G. Flagg, to tell you himself. Okay, welcome. My name is Ernest Flagg. I'm with Nursing and Behavioral Health Services. This discussion focused on becoming an individual or agency provider of developmental disability services in Ohio. I love Ohio. Ohio is really a healthy state um, to provide uh, these services within. Large number of baby boomers out there, large number of uh, DD uh, and ID populations out there. Um, huge opportunity to care for these individuals. A uh, huge, huge opportunity for businesses to come that way. Your business models for the developmental disability uh, services and waiver program there exists. Uh, DD and IDD group home. You got your private home care agency. You got your companion care agency. There's also supported employment. Transportation company, adult day program, vocational training, and a host of other business models that can uh, come about or fall up under that waiver program in Ohio. Thinking out loud, there's a national need for uh, personal care businesses, business models, community-based programs. There's a huge and national move to bring individuals out of the hospitals, out of that institutionalized setting, and into the communities but coming into the communities, they have to have a certain level of support, uh, a certain level of uh, businesses, services, service models to wrap around them to ensure that they do not go to jail, to ensure that the DD and ID, that these populations do not uh, go to the emergency department and do not get locked up in these hospitals. And if, if they happen to experience uh, an episode where they have to go to the emergency department or they have to take a brief uh, break and go to a state hospital and get what I call sometimes a tune-up, uh, sometimes an adjustment, and they come back out, that these services, that the right services, the right service models are in place to ensure these individuals' uh, continuity of care and that they can live comfortably in the community around you, around me, and uh, not and not be affected uh, negatively or adversely at all. Individuals versus agency. Uh, the agency model, I mean, if you're an individual and you're going through to try to become provider of certain services, you are limiting yourself to a certain um, scope of practice. With an agency model, you can uh, come in as a, as a group home or uh, community residential alternative type model in the community and also ultimately open up a DD, I'm sorry, open up a transportation company, an adult day program. And that's what the opportunity for that agency model present is uh, a host of other services uh, within one umbrella, up, up under one umbrella. College is not for everyone. I like to talk about that because you know, we, our, person, our goal is business ownership, and I believe in business ownership all day, all night. I think that nationally, colleges and, and academicians have done a great disservice on a lot of us, washing us, brainwashing us to think that, you know, you get this college degree, you can go out, you can work for somebody, and you can be, you know, you can make this type of money, when in fact, that's not really the case. Um, in totality, I, people are coming out of college, huge amount of loans. They can't pay the loans back. They're defaulting on the loan, losing their home, uh, getting their credit all messed up, you know, getting garnished. It's just, you know, everybody is not for college, and college is not for everyone. And it's behoove you to really realize 
where you fit at in that particular realm. Is it for you? Is it not for you? You've got to make that decision early on in life uh, as opposed to allowing someone else to make that de decision for you. Nurses and healthcare workers, uh, yeah, nurses and healthcare workers, nurses and healthcare workers, they are some of the most skilled individuals in the provision of personal care services. And many of them will do, and many of them I've seen do, a, do an exemplary job at delivering patient care, at running these type of facilities, at running personal care homes, uh, group home models, the adult day program, support employment agencies. I love nurses, I love healthcare professionals. I'm a nurse myself in many states. I just want to see a lot more nurses come over into this RAM, turn that card in, turn those keys and badges in, surrender that medication card, and come over into this industry and become a business owner. I think nurses do well. They are our number one clientele. Uh, physicians as well, they don't do as good as nurses, uh, of course not, but many physicians I've seen come over in this RAM and do a superb job. Uh, mindset. A lot of of us, many of us, have the mindset of work, 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 work for someone, and 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 what in essence what we're doing, particularly nurses and healthcare professionals, we're lining the pockets and allowing this mentality of prisoner work for somebody nine to five. This fear of business ownership to force us in a position where we are continuously working for someone lying in the pockets of others, but off of our sweat, sweat equity. And then we have to deal with that mindset that must change. And it was inbreded in us from, from, from childhood to get a job, to work for somebody, to get a job, to get an education, use that education that you paid for, that you've sweated for, that you have sweat for, paid for, use that to work for someone else, to make someone else wealthy. And until we get away from that mindset of employee, that mindset of fear of business ownership, we're not going to get to a point of creating residual income for ourselves, a point of taking vacations uh, and come back when you get back, a point of realizing true freedom that can only come from having your own, setting your own hours and setting your own destination. Mentor and consultant, it definitely, um, we as an agency, we assist individuals nationally. We've done this for many years. Um, it is the best way to go in terms of business ownership is to pair with someone, get you an excellent consultant such as ourselves, and, and, and help and allow us to help guide you and drive you through that process or that bureaucratic process with all that paperwork and handle that for you and really let you do uh, focus on what is most important to you in that uh, particular space and time is generating income and as well um, planning this business out. Planning the staffing aspect of that business, planning the population that's going to be served, where you're going to get these monies from, how you're going to market that business, um, what type of shifts are you going to have, and as well, um, how are you going to expand that business and make it a household branded in such a way it becomes a household name and that phone uh, begins to ring uh, off the hook. Collaboration is so essential nowadays. Many instances, we got a piece of the puzzle. We might have the money. We might have the academics, but we don't necessarily have the management skills. We may have the management skills the credit score, but we lack the money. But you know somebody that can help make that happen and can help to facilitate this dream. Sometimes we got to give up equity in the business. It is necessary to give up equity in the business to, in order to ensure that the, uh, the reality of that, that that business model comes into existence. And, and that's okay, you know, to partnership uh, and broker off uh, certain equity in the business so that you can continue those continue uh, those wheels to turn forward and continue that business to develop and to come into existence. You can't do it all on your own. And a lot of, a lot of times we want them to say, I don't want to partner. I don't want to partner. In fact, that's my preference is not to have a partner. But I'm telling you, this is 2017. 
and a lot of great ventures, including ventures that I have engaged in, including the ventures that I am part of right now, have came about because of that whole notion and concept of collaboration. Me freeing myself psycholo- I'm sorry, psychologically and freeing from that thought of I am just, I'm going to run my own business, I'm going to run that business, I'm going to do this business too. So cons- and, 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 it pre- and, and it paralyzes you sometimes. I don't want to work not not wanting to work and not desiring to work with other folks. And it paralyzes you sometimes and it prevents you from moving forward and moving into that um, that 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 positive ram and getting those wheels to turn a lot faster on that particular venture. Ohio uh, DD and IDD provide a website right here for you. Look at that. Write that down. Put it in crayon. Put it in marker and go and visit that website and uh, and look at those services. Uh, click on become a provider. Look at those services. But you know what? In fact, I'm going to take you right on over there. Just keep with me right here in this, this, this particular video. It's a short one, but this is a powerful video. If you look at it, listen to it, listen to it over and over again, make, follow this. Listen here. Where from here, visit our website, self-schedule a, a consultation, Ohio website right here. You see this? To be an agency provider. This is our preference. I prefer you to consider agency as a provider and you follow these steps right here. Steps to becoming a provider. Okay? Right here in your face. You can visit our website at www.nbhsllc.com. Again, nbhsllc.com. Click on Feature Consults. Look at this. I'm going to blow this up a little bit. You can see the website address that I provided you right there. All right, I'm going to show you this. So if you land on their main website or main page, you'll come here. Look familiar? Uh-huh. You got this tab right over here that says Provider. Click that. Over here to your right, you got Become a Provider. You click that. New Providers right there. Important things to know. Become a Provider right here. You want to be an individual? provider, you follow this link here. You want to become an agency provider, which I recommend for everybody, go agency route. Go agency route. But if you're thinking about just doing one particular model and you'll never venture off into something else, become an independent provider. My name is Ernest Flagg. I'm with Nursing and Behavioral Health Services. Visit our website at www.nbhsllc.com. Let's keep going. Let's make your business dream a reality.